First of all, I want to start by apologizing to all the people I made fun of that would post that they worked out at 4.30 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Sorry, because now I'm that person who wakes up at 4.30 in the morning and work out and works and work and work out. What's up guys, it's your girl Makita back with another video and I cannot wait to share my results of waking up at 4.30 in the morning to do workouts over the past six weeks. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you how I make it happen because I get that question all the time. Girl, how in the world do you even wake up and do that? So I'm gonna give you some tips on how you can wake up at 4.30 in the morning and make it your best morning yet. So let's get right into the video. First of all, the reason why I decided to opt for 4.30 a.m. workouts is because the job that I have, I am a teacher. I am a physical education teacher. So quite naturally, my job is very active, very, very active. And what I would find is I was exhausted by the time I got home and I was just giving very, very half behind workouts let's be real plus i'm the mama of an eight-year-old and a five-year-old and when they come home from school ladies y'all know what's up mommies they want mommy's attention so i would be on the floor trying to work out while my kids are dragging trains across my bag and they want to join in so it was just a mess so i decided you know what i'm going to have to really commit to 4 30 a.m workouts so that I can get my workout done and be able to start my day, okay? So let's get right into the tips. I need you to write these down because these are super important. Now, um, the very first tip I'm going to give you, I believe has been so key in why I have been successful in waking up at 4.30 a.m. It's because I'm not dependent on just my will alone. Sis, you got to find yourself an accountability partner and not just your girlfriend where both of y'all gonna be like sis you working out today nah i'm not working out today okay so we ain't working out today no not that kind of partner you need to find an accountability partner that's going to actually hold you accountable and for me surprising enough it was my fiance I honestly did not think he would be as committed as he is, but here's the thing. Here's the secret sauce of finding an accountability partner. You gotta find an accountability partner that's a little bit competitive. Because what pushes me is that my fiance does not want me to outdo him. And I'm not trying to let him outdo me. So what that means is we will be like, are you working out? And he'll be like, are you? I'll be like, yeah. I'll be like, well, I am too. And vice versa. So having an accountability partner is going to, you're going to push each other. And I really think the reason why we have not missed a day is because if he thinks about not doing it, he can't think of me doing it without him and he don't do it. And I can't think of him working out and me not doing it. So I need you to find an accountability partner that's really going to make you show up for yourself. Number two, I need you to lay your clothes out the night before. Now, I lay what I'm going to work out in, my sneakers and everything out, because what's going to happen is, is that if you don't do that, you're going to be wasting time. I only have maybe an hour before I have to go wake my kids up for school to work out. So I don't got no time to be trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear because literally time flies by. So put your clothes out, put your sneakers out. If you're going to the gym, you may need to allot even more time. I work out at home, which makes it more convenient for me. But if you are working out at a gym, you're gonna even I have to allot even more time. So set yourself up for success and not failure by putting your workout clothes out the night before. Now, to piggyback off of that, I want you to know exactly what you're going to do. If you are heading to the gym, don't be walking up in the gym not knowing what workout you're going to do. Is it gonna be an upper body workout? Is it gonna be a lower body workout? Is it gonna be a full body workout? 
write it out and know exactly what you're going to do. Again, that's going to save time and that's going to have you not waste your time by walking mindlessly around a gym, not knowing what you're going to do. For me, I lay out my weights. I know exactly the workout that I'm going to do. I have everything laid out so that when I walk into my workout room, I am hitting play on my YouTube video and I am going. Now, my fiance and I actually don't live together, so we work out on FaceTime. So he'll FaceTime me or I'll FaceTime him and then we'll do the same workout. The next thing I want you to do is I need you to commit to showing up. Now, the first four weeks of this, it wasn't necessarily about um, the workout per se, it was committing to showing up. The very first weeks of waking up at 4.30, my fiance and I just said, we just wanna build consistency. If our workout sucks, it's all good. We are committing to showing up no matter what. Y'all, there will be nights that I will wake up at two o'clock in the morning and I cannot go back to sleep and 4.30 would show up and I'll be like, are you freaking kidding me? But I was committed to getting up and showing up anyways. All my workouts, some of my workouts sucked because I was exhausted. However, and people may not agree with me on this, I committed to showing up and doing something even if it meant doing a 15 minute hit workout or a 10 minute upper body workout. I wanted to prove to myself that I was going to show up and do something anyways. So I would suggest for you to just commit to showing up and doing the workout, okay? Now, the results, what did I get? Because let me tell you something, sis, if you keep going, the results will come. It's the lack of consistency is the reason why our results don't come. But sis, if you stay committed, you are going to get results. Now, the results that I have are, number one, I've dropped five pounds. Now, I did not go into this with a uh, cut mental mentality that I was going to lose weight. It really was about me showing up and wanting to start building muscle. But I did drop five pounds. Uh, five pounds and it's because I, I, I do focus on eating within my calorie deficit or I try to eat at least 80% of the foods in my diet. So I dropped five pounds, I gained some muscle, I can see my body changing, it's so dope, like my abs are getting tighter, my arms are getting tighter, like I am gaining muscle. Um, my confidence is through the roof, y'all, not because of the aesthetics of how look it taught me that I can show up for myself that I can be disciplined that I if that carries over into other parts of my life where discipline had been slacking so now I prove to myself that you can be disciplined in other areas of your life so my confidence is through the roof and you feel so proud of yourself with making this kind of sacrifice to yourself okay now um, let's see here. The other big accomplishment is I feel like I've been an amazing example to other people because I posted on my other social media and they're like, I want to start working out early in the morning as well. So I'm going to end this video again to apologize to all the people who I clown, all the people I roll my eyes at, like, child, please, I ain't working up there early in the morning. Forgive me because I am an official member of the 4.30 a.m. workout club. So if you are interested in joining the 4.30 a.m. workout club, I want you to comment, I'm ready, 4.30, and I want to support you. So as always, like this video if it was helpful and also for the YouTube algorithm, and I will see you.